Hey guys, up Sanu. I'm um, making a new video for you guys here. If I sound like I'm sick, it's uh, because I just got back, or a couple days ago, I got back from Apex 2014, one of the largest Super Smash Bros. tournaments for all games uh, in the series uh, ever. Thousands of people in the DoubleTree Hotel in Somerset, New Jersey. Uh, it was a shit ton of fun. I met people from all around the country and in some cases all around the world. Um, you know, I, I had so much fun. I was there like four days uh, just playing. And uh, the problem is, though, for a lot of us, when we get home after being around thousands of people in a relatively small room for that amount of people, uh, you find out that you got sick, which tends to happen uh, when big amounts of people get into small areas. So uh, it was worth it and everything, but just to let you guys know I'm sick and. If I have to pause the video to cough or something, or uh, if my voice cracks or something, you know why. Uh, before I go into the poll, which is what this video is about, we did get the mini game rewards and uh, orbs recently, which are pretty nice. It's nice having those little orbs on the mini map, and you know, I like that you can turn them off if you don't want them. Like if I'm skilling, like I really don't really want those in my way, but you know if you're PKing, they actually come in handy. Uh, then make sure you guys before voting in this poll. Uh, Make sure you guys check out this dev blog. This explains literally everything. Like, they go into detail about what you're voting on. They show pictures. Like, they spend, a, you can tell they spend a good amount of time just kind of explaining everything here. Um, and they always show the questions well in advance before the polls are released. So you even get a little bit of time to think about them. And look, it's even, like, shameless here. They're like, these are the questions we are going to ask and the one I was really happy about I have been posting about this on the poll and suggestions thing for since old school runescape uh, came back if you're in a clan chat channel when you log out should you automatically rejoin it to log in this is the thing that old school ha doesn't have right now that pisses me off because when people join your clan channel Andrew AJT62 they forget about it when they log back in and you never see them again or sometimes they'll rejoin an hour later after logging in because they forgot it doesn't rejoin you like it does in EOC so it really can be annoying sometimes but it looks like we might get that update here so anyway uh, let's take a look at the poll I mean there's, there's not, an op not much to this page it just says go vote in the poll and read the dev blog so let's go vote whoa okay don't know what this stuff is, Japanese or something. No, it's not Japanese, but uh, I'll work around it. Upgrade the wilderness to the basic level is featured in the dev blog called Rejuvenating the Wilderness 2. Uh, oh, what's the basic level? That's my question. Uh, basic level. Ba okay, basic level upgrade. Yeah, it actually really like. You probably should have this open when you're going and voting on those these things. Okay, so this basic level, they're actually pretty complex here. Uh, there's going to be... Okay, well, where's the new multi-attack area going to be? I don't really see any more of that, but... <clears throat> yeah, am I missing something here? Where is the new multi-attack area? I know this is updated, that they just take it out and forget to remove that from the key. Uh, I really don't know, but I guess it's not a big deal. So these are all the bot. Like this is the main deal you're getting here. Uh, I don't know what they mean by basic level, but I guess it's the sh other shit that's not in here. But okay, yeah, I'll vote for this. Uh, ideally, I would like it this to only happen on a few worlds. Uh, I don't even know if that's a question here, but the problem is like because there's so many worlds, it's really like you're probably gonna be able to go and kill these new monsters in an empty world anyway so you know but it's better than nothing uh... if you go to the wilderness now it's pretty damn dead <coughs> you cannot find someone to fight stop players from teleporting out of the kbd uh... i mean i guess i mean it's kinda unfair that you can just go there and teleport out uh... rune rocks to the ice plateau just straight up just rune rocks like they're just there you can you can mine them. Uh, well, where are they? 
Oh, I guess, I guess there's somewhere around there. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, you can teleport there, which is kind of the interesting thing. So, yeah. Fountain of Rune. Uh, that is the... Th I think this would be that, if I'm not mistaken here. Let's take a look. You can cast any spell without using any runes. You won't get any XP. Well, why am I going to go alking there if I'm not even getting XP? Isn't the whole point of alking in large quantities to get XP? That that actually sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, if I'm going to go alking, I'll do it at a bank. I'm not going to go into the 50 wilderness just so I can alk and not even get XP for it. You know, I'm sure you could do other stuff, like maybe you can go PKing and not have to use runes there, but like, you know, if you want to like play your DM your friends or something. Uh, but the whole idea just seems like a waste of effort. I mean, you're not getting XP, so what's that point? Uh, once we've solved the issue of luring players in the wilderness using the trade windows, uh, okay, so they're saying like you can't right-click trade someone and then just run away, so then when they click trade back, they don't run up to you. Um, like, I don't know, I mean, the wilderness ditch, I remember when they added that, uh, People didn't really like it, but no one really hated it. I mean, it's kind of weird, like, when I, my first time ever being in the wilderness, I just kept walking north, it was like 2005, I had no idea what I was doing. I ignored the warning message, and I just kept walking north until a bunch of rangers attacked me. It was like near the bar near Varrock, and I died. And like, if there was a ditch there, I probably would have figured, you know, Maybe I shouldn't go over that, but instead I just kept walking. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I don't really see a problem with the Wilderness Ditch. It's not like it's a new thing, so I guess, nah. But I don't, it would be, I mean, it'd be cool, like, it's more old school, but the thing, oh, I didn't mean to vote no on that. The thing is, like, with these polls, it's always a question of, do you want the really old RuneScape where it was just like it was in 2007, or do you want the ideal RuneScape where we're, at, we're adding all these updates, we're making it like a really good game, uh, and 2007 RuneScape is just the base of it. It's not necessarily the same thing. You know, do you want ideal RuneScape, or do you want old RuneScape? So, this is kind of saying, do you want old, old RuneScape? Uh, and th this kind of contradicts the other stuff. So, I don't know, I, I actually tend to lean a little bit more towards old RuneScape, but some of the new stuff can be quite fun. Uh, should we add a, a dungeon of God Wars creatures to the wilderness? Yeah, the Avian Seas thing. Uh, here we go. Oh, the wilderness ditch. Okay. Uh, there's going to be God Wars creatures to kill outside of the little area in the wilderness where the God Wars dungeon is near. So, I mean, that's not really a That'd be pretty cool, actually, and the Aviancies thing would be pretty cool. Uh, sorry about that. My little desk, uh, fall down thing fell. Can't stop coughing, and this poll happens to have a hundred questions. Okay, 30, so we're almost halfway. Uh, uh, oh, didn't mean to vote yes on that. Uh, a kill to death ratio. No, I don't really see a need for that. Like, people will, I know that they said they're going to try to make it so you can't farm kills, but people will find a way. The Lava Dragons thing, again, go back to the devlog. Uh, there's really no, seems to be no big reason to actually kill these Lava Dragon Bones. I mean, it seems like you just want to bring them back to the bank. Uh, you don't really want to bury them, even with the XP boost. Uh, you get 85 XP for burying them. If you bury them in the Lava Dragon Isle, you get three times the amount of XP. Actually, you know what, I mean... Okay, so they're saying you get... Lava Dragon's bows, you get 85 XP, but if you bury them where you kill them, you get three times the amount of XP. So if we do some math here... Actually, I can do this without a calculator. Fuck calculators. Uh, actually, that's not true. But, um... 85 times 3, okay, so that's... 315s you're gonna take away from 100, so that's... 40, 300 minus 45, so 255 XP. 255 XP is actually quite a lot. 
Well, okay, 255 XP would be pretty good, assuming I'm doing this right. My question is, why do you need to take away red dragons? I mean, red dragons already are, are so shit on, there's like two people killing them on a daily basis. You know, and now you're just going to take half of their spawns, I think the other one is in like Brimhaven, and, uh, and you're just going to remove them. But the prayer XP thing seems pretty good, like I might go train prayer there. So, I mean, I guess, I mean, I don't know, I just feel bad. Red dragons, like, they're, they're such shit on dragons, like, they're supposed to be the second best to kill out of the main ones. So I'm going to actually support red dragons. I'm sure I can buy 99 prayer someday. Oh, so if, if we get the lava dragons and this doesn't pass, the three times XP, that would be pointless then. So I might as well vote. Uh, well, I mean, <coughs> I could vote no on this, but I'll vote yes on this, because if people do vote yes on this, then we, I don't want to have lava dragons that are just shit, so yeah. Revenants would be pretty cool, that sounds fun. I mean, I don't know, like, it's it, it's kind of saddening, though, it's at points, because you look at the wilderness, and it's such a classic lake place, like, the Forgotten Cemetery, this is where, like, Oh, well, they're saying the Graveyard of Shadows, okay. Like, some of this place is kind of nostalgic, and seeing it change around a lot would be a little bit sad, but maybe it's for the better. Like, I know if you go here, there's a level 2 man there, like right on here, who literally just has no reason to be there, but he's there. And, like, the Dark Warrior, they're going to change this around, make it all new and everything, but, you know, maybe it's for the better. Okay. So, yeah, Revenants, Graveyard of Shadows, uh, multi-combat zone, uh, multi-combat zone there, huh. Yeah, I guess if you want to go Rev Pekang, like the, uh, the Revenant dungeon, up to attack each other. Uh, I'm actually firmly voting no on this. This is saying that if you're in combat with an NPC, can other people attack you? I say no because like that's an actual viable strategy from getting away from a big clan, and it has been for years, so nah. Remove 10 other worlds from the boost activity. I don't vote no on this. <coughs> I mean, we shouldn't take away worlds just so the game looks bigger than it actually is. And, you know, God forbid you're trying to find a spot, and now there's ten, ten less worlds to look at for, like, mining or something. Tradable items become visible. Uh, nah, that's too new for me. Uh, Kraken Slayer creature. Yeah, we're not getting a boss, apparently. Um, <clears throat> okay, new level 75 staff with a built-in spell. The spell is cast 20% fast. Try not to cough, fuck. Um... 20% faster than normal spells, max at a 20. <coughs> Sorry about that. Rising to 28. Yeah, this seems fine. Alk value, Bandos. Nah, I actually cut. It's kind of funny when people get fucked over by Alk values. Shooting, shorten the route from Varax West Bank to the Spirit Tree. Ah, oh, nah, I actually like making that walk. I don't know why. But it's kind of it's nostalgic. I, I've done that so many times. I walk all the way to the castle so you can go under. Uh, run an energy icon to the minimap toggle run mode setting when you click it. Nah, I like I said, I like it the old way. Prayer points, quick prayers. Nah, I mean, I'm sure people are going to vote yes on that, but... I like going into the options and clicking run on, like it's really nostalgic for me. Cure poison or disease. Like that would be, that's a new idea I guess, unless that's an EOC. Like they're saying you have your HP bubble and if when you click on it, you'll drink an anti-poison that's already in your inventory. Uh, nah. Cool down time on minigame teleports to one hour. They're saying, like, basically, people are using that those teleports to actually do other shit. Like, people are teleporting to the Morton minigame, Shades of Morton, and just doing borrows off of that, so. Uh, I mean, 
but it really depends. Do you want people using those teleports or not to do borrows, or do you want them using them to play the mini games? And I guess you really do want them using them to play the mini games, don't you? Uh, so yeah, why not? God Wars Dungeon Alters, yeah, this would be great, knowing how much longer you need to wait. No reason not to have that, other than just to make it more annoying. Uh, not even gonna even consider this one. Immediate yes. Rejoin on login. Fuck yeah. Pay Slayer points to unlock Mythal Dragons. Yeah, sure. That, I mean, I don't know why you don't already get Mythal Dragons. Aviancies. That would be a cool task, yes. Uh, new channels. Yes, that would actually be. I remember hearing about this. You could find for first of all, there wouldn't be someone always in my clan chat asking, "Hey, does anyone, anyone in the Phonix gang, you know, I'm doing the quest?" Like, no, you just go into the channel thing. So using the mini game shit to find like teams would actually be really nice. Loot broadcast, yes. Okay, these are easy ones. Like, who the fuck is gonna vote no on this one? I mean, you'd have to be, I talk about the 07 or Ideal RuneScape, you'd have to be crazy fanatic for the 07 one. Uh, you know, I mean, even though this is going to mean banks are a little bit more cluttered, but still. Uh, Watered Saplings. Yeah, that actually, I don't do farming a lot, but when I do, that can be annoying. Total level box. Nah, I'm not really into total XP. So, I'll, I'll vote no on that. So, let's vote. Uh, so let's take a look. Yeah, people do want rejuvenating the wilderness. Uh, they don't usually. I mean, almost six thousand. Let's see how many people voted. Okay, any more? Can we get six thousand? I mean, this isn't that popular a game, so it might actually take a couple minutes <coughs> for six thousand. Okay, so people don't want teleporting out of the lair. Rune rocks. Everyone's kind of cool with. Fountain of Rune is neck and neck. Remember, you need 75% to pass. Remove the Willingness Stitches, losing by a bit. Uh, it's hard for these polls to change, especially when a lot of people have voted already. Whoa, shit, this is close as well. This this could change. 75%, uh, like, right now it would pass, but any couple of votes for no could really swing the tide here. So it's interesting to see these are actually close. So you might check back when this poll is over and it might be different. Uh, you know, most people vote within the first few days, but some people might vote, you know, during the last few days. Okay, people do want KD ratio. They do want Lava Dragons and they do want the, the triple XP. So that that's a good, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna miss Red Dragons, but it's a good way to actually get Prayer XP without just buying it. Revenants, people do not want those. Uh, multi-combat is even worse. People don't want that either. Uh, okay, am I missing something? What is the basic upgrade? Like, what the shit is... Oh, what about the resources? We didn't vote on that. Oh, okay, I think that's everything here. Yeah, I mean, everything here is pretty much fine. You know, anyway. So... Currently, yeah, see, I'm not the only one who doesn't want that, the NPC stuff. Ten worlds now, nah, people don't really want that. I mean, you know, most people do, but not enough, and I kind of like the system where most of the community has to agree on something, which is surprisingly we're able to do a good amount of the time. Tradable items, nah, I mean, like, it just would feel like EOC where people are dropping, like, an AGS for a second and picking it right back up. Like, I'm not in the mood to deal with that shit. It's a pretty classic thing to drop something when you're about to die and go run and back, pick it up, pick it back up. But most of the time, it doesn't even work very well because they can just, I mean, they kind of could guess like, okay, where does Whip go? I mean, he was scold, so you know. Anyway, uh, okay, people do want the level 10 agility shortcut, crystal bow. Yeah, people want bandos armor protecting instead. <coughs> I mean, I guess that would be good because. Now you can actually bring crystal equipment. Yeah, people do want the run stuff. Quick prayers, people do want as well. Uh, I mean, you can turn all this shit off. Wow, this one's close. 
cure poison or disease. I mean, no one ever gets disease unless you're doing that quest, but, you know, we'll see what happens with that one. Cooldown, nah, people do want that to stay as like 20 minutes or so. Yeah, this this one should be big. 91% on that. I'd like to have a conversation with the 513 people who voted no on that. Mythal Dragons, yes. Aviancies, yes. Uh, God Wars Dungeon Teams, yes. Loot Broadcast, yes. Bank Spaces, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, 160 people don't want more Bank Spaces. Anyway, that's about it for this poll. I really should not have made this video, but I made it through. Now my throat's probably going to hurt even more, but I guess it was worth it. So, anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, definitely give me a like, subscribe. Also join my clan chat, AndrewAJT62, same as my YouTube name. Uh, but I really do appreciate that like. And also comment, I'm sure people have disagreed with some of the, vote, the votes I've made in this video. So if you disagree with anything, comment, let me know uh, why, and you know maybe, maybe I'll even rethink my opinion. So... Let me know. Anyway, I'll see you guys next video, and I'm looking forward to these new updates.